this tutorial, we're going to be following a maze of different shapes using the pen tool. They're all shapes you've seen before in the last couple of tutorials you did, so you shouldn't have too many issues going through this maze. Um, when you're going through it, okay, you're going to be using the pen tool, of course. You need to make sure that you've got no stroke, you've got red as your colour, and you've got your size set to 3 or 4. Okay. Now you start down here where it tells you to, and because it's straight lines to begin with, I'd be holding the shift key to get started. Okay, so hold shift and just go and click on all the different corners of these shapes. Okay, try and be as neat as possible. You won't be able to hold shift for this diagonal one, so you know, take shift off when you get to that. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through these. Feel free to fast forward the video for a about 30 seconds while I get through this easy part and I'll help you out when we get to the trees which is the first of the hard parts coming up okay so that's the easy stuff out of the way when you get to these parts we've got a few curves to do okay so I'm going to simply click about here and drag down to the right and I'm going to try and match my curve up with the black line below it once you've done that you can hold alt and move your handles around a little bit and try and get the curve to match up again and then click and drag and get that last curve looking nice okay I'm going to zoom in a bit here now because we're up to the tree where it gets a bit harder if I was to go and click straight up there okay my curve would look a bit dodgy as you can see now so I'm going to need to hold the alt key and grab that handle and just move it up in the direction of the side of that tree and now that line will go straight up I'm going to hold Alt again and grab that anchor point and just drag it out, probably out this way a bit. So it's just there. I'm going to go across to that first part of the tree there and click and drag out. And you should start to get a nice shape like that. If I go to draw the next shape, it's going to be facing the wrong way, so I need to break my arm here on the handle, break that, hold the Alt key, simply drag it up, and we're going to drag it out like so. Go to the next point, click and drag. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but you can grab your um, white arrow later on once you're finished and fix up all these lines that aren't quite perfect. Okay, so there's the next one. Hold Alt, grab that handle, click and drag up somewhat in the direction of the next bend. We're going to go over to the next point, click and drag. Okay, hold Alt, grab that handle. We're going to move it up. Same out there. And we will click and drag out to the right this time. Well, that one's a bit off, but never mind. We can come back and fix it. And hold Alt, grab that handle, and just drag it down directly in line with the side of the tree. You can go and click on that final point. Okay. So, scrolling along here now, we can probably get over to this point and just simply click and drag down. Oops. That's an easy one coming back to the next point not quite as easy we're going to have to hold alt grab that handle and just move it up a bit before we can get this one looking any good okay then we're going to go across let's see what we need to do here we should be able to finish this one with one point simply by dragging down okay it's looking good when we get to that tree it's going to be the same as before hold that handle drag it up in level with the side of the tree and click on that first little corner Hold Alt, and you're going to drag that anchor point out somewhere out here. Go across to the first point and stretch and drag out. That's a bit off, but as I said, grab your white arrow at the end, fix that up. Okay. Hold Alt, grab that handle, drag it out. I'm going to click and drag again. Again, I'm a bit off, but you know, pretty close, and it can be fixed pretty easily. So hold Alt, grab that handle. Drag it out, and we'll click and drag the next part of the tree in. Hold Alt, grab that handle, and drag it up, and then we'll do the final part. Okay, that one's well and truly off, we'll have to come back and fix that up. And to the side of the tree, remember, hold Alt, grab your handle and face it down towards the bottom of the tree, and simply click in that corner. Okay, I'm just going to scroll across now. We should be able to do that curve in one hit, just click in that corner and drag it up. 
Okay, that's pretty close. All right, I'm not going to show you any more from there. Okay, it's your job now to go through the rest of that maze, going around that tree one more time. You'll come across and do a little tree, and then you've got a few little curly bits of grass at the end. When you finish, remember to control click or command click off any shapes. Grab your white arrow, and you can go back through, for example, over on this tree on the left here. I was a bit rough. With your white arrow, click on some of those paths and use your handles there just to bring it back into line and make it look like a decent tree. Oops. Okay, it doesn't take much to fix when you just drag those handles in and out. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Alrighty. So it's not too hard, you have done those shapes before. If you get really stuck, you can open your layers panel over here and you can make the cheat layer visible. Okay, and as you can see when I turn that on and off, it's got some guides that are going to help you out, showing you where to pull out the handles to, to make those perfect curves. But try and do it without the cheat layer, I don't think there's any need for it. You're pretty good at this pen stuff by now, so I reckon leave that turned off and have a go at doing it yourself. And remember, don't give up straight away. If you make a mistake, undo it and just go again. Eventually you'll get it right. And if not, use the white arrow up here, the direct selection tool, just to move the handles around, move the lines around a little bit, and eventually you'll get that maze looking pretty good. Okay, so have fun with that one. Shouldn't take you too long. In the next tutorial, we'll start to do something a little bit more real world. Uh, we're going to try and trace some pictures. Okay, enjoy.